Hello, this is Cherie from Acrylic Pours by Cherie, and this is the Sunset series, and that's a series of three, and to number, and today the number is number three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some black paint on here, like I normally do, spread it around. I use a silicone brush. It's uh, it's handy for me. I I like it. it. Does pretty well. I used to use my hands with gloves, and I kind of stopped doing that. wasn't liking that very much. So what's going on with everybody today? Got some beautiful weather out there. Spring is definitely on its way. The dandelions are blooming and all kinds of good stuff. It's uh, looking pretty nice out there. I'm loving it. As I said before, I'm really wanting this warm weather to, to get out there and come on. So before I was using this ring light and uh, it was nice light, but it was shining too, too much on my paintings and I really didn't like that. So I stopped, stopped using it, at least for now, until I can find a better way to, to use it. Okay, so I think that's good for now. And this is sunset number three. Okay, I'm gonna start with the green. Well, I'm gonna start with the black. Start by putting some black in it. This is the Viridian Hue, which is a pretty cool color. Wind has really picked up outside. It's not cold, but definitely windy. What I do with my paints is um, it's like two parts flow to one part paint. It's basically how I go with mine, and that seems to work for me. Okay, so some more black. This is the burnt sienna, which is a pretty cool color. My little Abby is wondering what who is my little Shih Tzu. I've talked about her before, and uh, she's really wondering what Mom's doing again. She's just like what 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 so i'm just, like i said before i'm so so happy for all this warm weather that i just cannot wait for summer to be here to be able to go to the beach which i live a very short distance to the beach which is i'm very lucky i love it Rehoboth and Lewis, all those places are just beautiful. We have the lighthouses, and it's a beautiful place to live. It really is. I'm very fortunate to live here my whole life, and I love it. My husband was was born and raised in Lewis Beach, and uh, 
I'll go down there from time to time and and just reminisce about where his grandparents and his parents lived and the house he lived in. And it's uh, it's really quite interesting and nice. All my children were born at the Lewis Hospital. I had four children, three boys and one girl. And all of them were born in the same town as their father. Um, me, I wasn't born in the same town. I was born in Milford. And which is not very far from the beach, but, or from any other beach. Actually, it's very close to Slaughter Beach and Broadkill Beach. Okay, let's bring that down and see if I can start stretching. some on the side, which I didn't really want to do, but that's what I did. Possibly get this off. There we go. Alright, so I am going to go ahead and torch. Give that a little bit to, to come out and Actually, see what's going on. This is number three of a series of three, and uh, it's looking pretty awesome. All of that right there. I'm gonna stretch it out. Up to the end. That is looking pretty awesome. But I think what I'm going to do is torch again. See if I can get any more cells to come out. The yellow didn't turn out very, very prominent, but very cool. I'm really, really liking these colors together. Pretty awesome. That right there, that and that is just, I'm not stretching that out. That looks pretty cool. I don't want that to go anywhere. I'm definitely going to sell these as a as a set not sure how right now but that is looking pretty good really liking that a lot i think i might want to pour a little bit more black right here that spread out some There we go. All right. Let's see if I can get any more out of this. Let's see if any more cells will pop up. Like I said, I really wish that I could get bigger cells, but I'm happy with what I got right now. up a little bit. I think it's trying to slide down. More torching. I'm very happy with what I've come up with. Okay. I'm 
going to go ahead and bring you down and show you an up close. There we go. That is really pretty. one part right here I just love see the little speckles of viridian hue oh, wow that is awesome looking right there this part right here I'm loving down on the corner So cool. Loving this. Loving this. So here is the finished product. And so this is it for the series of three. Not sure what I'm going to do next, but I'm definitely going to be doing some pours. Thank you for tuning in. This is Cherie from Acrylic Pours by Cherie. Have a great day and thank you for watching.